When the Denver and Rio Grande narrow gauge railroad lost most of its freight business in the late 1960s, a majority of the 875 miles that remained was abandoned. The tracks were torn up, but right-of-ways were still visible for hundreds of miles. Remains of rails, water towers, and even freight cars were spread all over southern Colorado and northern New Mexico. It seemed like the end for the largest narrow gauge network in the United States. Through the efforts of local and state governments, enthusiasts and volunteers, today we have two thriving sections of the original narrow gauge railroad still in operation. Steam engines reaching 100 years of age, running on the same tracks for which they were originally built. The 45-mile Durango to Silverton never closed down. Considered one of the most scenic railroads in the United States, it follows the valley of the Animas River from Durango, Colorado to the small mining town of Silverton and has been doing so since 1882.
9,118 feet, Silverton is one of the highest stops on this narrow gauge. It's hard to believe this sleepy town was once the commercial hub serving 40 mines in the area. When the mines dried up, the federal government refused to grant abandonment due to the poor road conditions. So in order to make money, the railroad started offering excursions and it's been a successful tourist railroad ever since. Nearly 100 miles south of Durango, another part of the original narrow gauge has survived, considered by some as the quintessential route, the 64-mile Cumbres and Toltec Railroad passes through some of the most scenic areas of northern New Mexico as it snakes its way from Chama to Antonito, Colorado. At Cumbres, the train stops to take on passengers. This is the highest spot on the railroad at over 10,000 feet. The original section house exists today, complete with original time schedules. After the 4% grade climb, the engine is topped off with water before the descent into Oza.
trumpets and those memories never fade. They'll be here with me to my dying day. When suddenly it comes to me, the sky begins to clear, and all the possibilities are whispered in my ear. Up higher than I'd ever been, I won't feel any fear. When I close my eyes, I can't see it from here. Yeah, when I close my eyes, I can't see it from here. Operating a steam-powered railroad takes a lot of skill and experience. It can be a dirty and tedious job as well, working around 100-year-old equipment that requires a lot of daily maintenance. It takes a special person to do this work, but many line up just to get the opportunity. From brakemen to conductors, from firemen to engineers, Everyone works together to continue the history of this once great railroad. The future of this railroad is hinged on the next generation of railroad men and women. People with the same passion as those they replace. Ready to take on the challenge of running the giants in the hills. <laughs>